Hi, welcome to another Brush and Balcom video. Today we're going to be doing a short tutorial on how to paint the Forlum. The first colour that we're going to be using is Citadel Ricard Flesh. I'm going to be using that to do his robes. When we come back, we'll have all the Rakarth flesh finished. Now we're going to work on a few of the metallics. The first is going to be Vallejo Model Air Chrome. We're going to use this on his backpack and his weapon and his shoulder trims as well. When we come back, we'll have all the model air chrome done. Now I've just painted his eyes and the lens on his scope with my fist on red, and I've used Retributor armor on the skulls and the end of the tassels there. I'm just going to paint the tassels with Vallejo beige brown. When we come back we'll have all the beige brown done. Okay, the next thing that we'll be doing is using Citadel Null Oil. We're going to be shading all the silver metallics. When we come back, we'll have all the null oil done. Using Seraphim Sepia, we're now going to do his robe. I'm just going to give that a complete coating of it. When we come back, we'll have all his robes finished. The final shade that we're going to be using is Citadel Agraxair shade. I'm going to be doing the gold and also some of the rivets and stuff like that on his armour. come back all the cracks earth shade will be finished just to touch up the black again we're going to be using Citadel Abaddon black I'm just going to use this on the casing of the bolter and on his armor where the silver has gone onto it We come back of all the black redone. Now we're just going to use a little bit of Vallejo German Grey. We're going to use this to do a little bit of a light dry brush over his armour.
like so. Now I'm just going to use some Vallejo dark grey. We're just going to do a couple of little edge highlights. Now this is an optional part. You don't really need to do this, but if you want to, you can do. We come back, we'll have all these extreme highlights done. Now we're going to work on this cloak. We're going to use Citadel Ricard Flesh again. Come back, we'll have all the Rakarth flesh finished. Now we're going to be using a mix of Rakarth flesh and white, and we're just going to be highlighting some of his robes. Come back, we'll have all his robes highlighted. Now we've added more white to the mix, we're just going to do one second highlight on this. Now we're just going to do the eyes and the lenses on the model. For this we're going to be using Mephiston Red mixed with white. So the first colour is going to be just a little bit of white added to the Mephiston Red. We're going to use that to do a highlight on the lenses. Like so. Now we're going to add a little bit more white to the mix, to make it a little bit brighter. Touch up the black there. Now all we need to do is add a little tiny spot of pure white. Okay. 
Now we're just going to start doing a bit of a pattern across the bottom of his robes and around the hood of his robe. And for that we're just going to use pure Mephisto on red. When we come back we'll have this trim done. Continuing with my fist on red we're just going to add some little triangles to the bottom of the robe. come back all the triangles will be done. Now we're going to be working on the tempered metal which runs along the melter gun barrel here. Uh, for this we'll be using the colours that you can see before you which are all the citadel shades um, and that's the colour that they're going to run on from the very back end of the barrel right the way through to the front of the barrel. First one we're using is a Grax Earth shade and we're going to start that at the very back end of the barrel. So, next we're going to be using Seraphim Sepia. I'm just going to do a little area here, overlapping the Agrax Earth shade. Like so. Now we're using Cassandora Yellow. And we're just going to add that to the edge where the seraphim sepia is. Like so. Next it's Fugan Orange. And we're going to be using that just on the edge of the Cassandora Yellow. Now it's Caraberg Crimson, we're going to do exactly the same and add that to the end of the Fugan Orange. Like so. Now we're adding Citadel Druchy Violet, which is the next colour. We're going to add that to the edge of the Caraberg Crimson. So, the next colour we're using is Drachenhof Nightshade, and that goes just to the edge of the Duty Violet. Like so. And the final colour that we're using is Citadel Null Oil, and that's just to do a little bit of scorching at the very tip at the melter gun. Like so. Now we're going to start adding the detail into the shoulder. For this we're just going to use pure white and we're going to be going for some checkers running across the bottom of the shoulder pad 
and one of the Dark Angel's blades running vertically down it. So when we come back to this, we'll have this shoulder pad finished off. For the remaining shoulder pad, we're going to be doing the Dark Angel's wings with a red dagger through the middle. So for the red dagger, we're going to be using Sithabel Mephist on red. Now, I found the best way to paint these, or for me at least, it might be worth trying, is to do almost a crescent of white. Something similar to that. So once you've done the white, you can go around the very edges of it with black just to shape that into the correct kind of crescent shape. Then what you need to do is roughly divide up the wing into its four segments. What you might find sometimes is when it looks like that, it does look a bit skewed. So you can add another little layer to the top, like so, to build that up. And then just extend those black lines going into it. Like so. All it is is a matter of tidying up the edges of the white. Like so. With that done, the only thing we need to do now is with the Vallejo Blade Brown again, we're just going to highlight these little ropes here. And that is the finished Fallen Sergeant. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media links below. Thanks very much.